I'm just taking all these out for any extra access. So that'll allow you to get in there to whatever dent might be on the other yeah. side. And today, due to time, I just we're just gonna do the bonnet and then whatever's on the roof. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, pro I'll probably go, go over here. That seems yeah. to be where most of them are. You can see a mm -hmm. lot of them right here. Yeah. There's a few back here. Yeah. It seems like these are the more prominent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, that, that right there shows you where the, where the hail damage is coming down, like what angle it's coming at. Yeah. I most, mean, it was literally coming. Yeah. Most of the time, whenever you get hail damage, it comes over from the side. That's yeah. why a lot of times whenever customers uh, look at their hail damage, one side has a lot more damage. Yeah, because this side, side, it's very few. I think you see like one or two over there. Yeah. But over there, it just seems like that got the brunt of it. And then, of course, the hood got that nice deep one right there. And then that yeah. deep one over there, and that's that is a deep dent. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've got I've got a technique to where I can get that out without having to replace the, the stripes. Yeah, yeah the, the, the stripes. that's exactly what I what I have in the back yeah. of my car. Yeah. So, like we showed in the last video, you guys can see that swir the swirls right there, and it looks like it's multiple. Like it might have been one or two little. Well, so with hail damage, the hailstones, they're actually, I mean, they're not perfect They're not perfect spheres, okay. So a lot of them can be jagged. Okay. So they will, they will make different, you know, uh, different sizes and different you Yeah, know, so you can see that swirl right there. Kind of looks like, that kind of looks like the storm on Jupiter. Mm-hmm. And those three are probably the most prominent ones on the roof. Yeah. So we're definitely going to take care of those today. Mm -hmm. And this is a good way to avoid if you don't have a way of getting to a rental car or you don't want to avoid or you don't want to do the rental car. In this case, yeah. it's a little bit of a different scenario. Yeah. I'm filming I'm filming this, but the average customer's not gonna sit around and wait. Yeah. Yeah, I mean there, there are some repairs that, that that can only take that only take maybe ten to fifteen minutes. Yeah. But in situations like this, I mean this done alone, mm -hmm. I've got to take my time with it with yeah. how the metal is stretched. So I'll need to take my time with it. So that it. one will take the longest out of all of them. Yeah, right? yeah, I would say. Probably more so than that one, or both of those are equal, probably. Well, uh, I think this one more or less just because it has that vinyl, and I have to take, have to make that extra step yeah. uh, in order to get that out without having to mess up the, the vinyl. Yeah, because typically if you do the, uh, if you do dent removal, the some dent places will actually peel the vinyl off. So this is some interesting stuff here. So this tension pole does what? It's to keep it at a certain angle. Okay. And you're doing the ratchet straps for? Uh, to hold it down. Okay. Because whenever I'm going to be pushing, I'm going to... Oh, you don't want the hood to... To move very To lift back up. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So if this had actually been taken completely off the car, it would have been a different scenario entirely. Yeah, so it, I, if I would have taken it off the car under the hood stand, yeah. it would have been on there, and I would have had four ratchet straps to put it on. Okay. Just, just to make sure it's all secured. Okay. I'm assuming you have a preferred method. <laughs> oh, I mean, it, it's uh, it is easier, especially if it's if it's really bad. Yeah. It's better to get it off the hood that way you can work out on it. Yeah. From all angles. Okay. You know, because you know, whenever you keep it on the car, it's much more difficult to be able to push on, on a dent going from this way. Okay. <laughs> So if you see what he's doing here, he put a piece of clear packaging tape over the dent. This is a this will allow him to pull it without having to remove the vinyl graphics, which makes me happy because trying to replace graphics after dents have been pulled is a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's, expensive. it's expensive, but the dents are more expensive than the than the vinyl is in this case. Yeah. So we got that piece of tape there. And Derek over here is working with a lighting rig that's gonna allow him to see the dents easier. All 50 to 75 of them. <laughs> All right, here we go. So now you can really see that dent there. In fact, you can see now all the dents on the car and how ugly they all look. <laughs> I'm just using a long rod like this. Mm -hmm. That way, It'll give me good leverage, give me good power in order to get up underneath there. So you're basically going to come in right underneath and mm -hmm. start putting some pressure on that dent. You know what? I'd like to 
actually put a piece of tape underneath too. That way, I don't I don't scratch the paint up underneath. Okay. And so this thing hanging here allows you to kind of move the rod around and give give your hand a little bit of a yeah break from having to hold that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely a, a lifesaver. So it's kind of like those things you see on a pool table, like a pool, like a pool cue. It's like a helper. Yeah, yeah. So if you see that dent under there, he's going to put a piece of tape on it so he doesn't scratch the paint. I'm actually going to put a couple pieces. Yeah. I'm also going to put a couple layers on it as well. So, for the average for the average person, this is where this is located. Is where that insulator panel is. That piece of. Uh, yeah foam is and that yeah. was and that thing is actually designed to protect the hood from uh, heat yeah and, you know this, this isn't engine. this isn't always necessary no but you know for depends on the car yeah for nice vehicles it, it's helpful that way you don't mess up the paint up underneath mm -hmm. so he slides that tool right there and gets it right up under that dent so he starts pressing you can see and if you come up on top you might be able to, you probably won't. You might be able to see a little bit, yep, there it goes. See a little bit of movement right there. I'm essentially just getting the very center of it. It's just sharp, quick pushes. Now what's the hardest metal to work with when it comes to PDR work? Oh, I mean, typically the hardest. The toughest is aluminum. Okay. So aluminum is definitely the toughest, but uh, you know, we get into a lot of situations where we go from an aluminum hood where it's really tough like the f-250s the roofs uh -huh. are actually probably the toughest that that you can work with mm -hmm. um i mean other than the you know the 1930s 1940s 50s you know th those vehicles that's just a different type of metal yeah uh but whenever you go from really tough metal over to like a subaru or a kia uh -huh. where the metal is super thin um it's just a matter of trying to adjust your your power okay uh, and pushing so with the metal on a Subaru and Kia be like a tin can almost yeah I mean they're, they're very thin okay very thin how would you describe the metal on a mini uh it's it's pretty average okay. it, yeah it's pretty average it it's stout but it does work with you it's very forgiving there you go and for those who are wondering, I was wrong when I thought these hoods were aluminum. They're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's all right. There's a lot of different, there's a couple techniques you can do to be able to test it out. Mm -hmm. uh, just by, you know, whenever you do this for a long time, you know, a lot of experts, uh, what, you, what you can do is you can just tap on it and you can just tell by the sound of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it's a lot more dense and doesn't uh, give as much of an echo, that's that's an indicator that it's uh, aluminum. Yeah. So, but I mean, like I said, what I'm doing is I'm doing the just short, quick pushes in the very center. I'm stretching that metal back out. And then you're watching the reflection of the light on there as well. It looks of it. Yes. Yes. So you see if it. If it, when it starts to straighten out, that means the dent is is yeah. gone. <laughs> yeah. And typically, a lot of times, whenever you know, whenever it's a deep dent like this, mm -hmm. you know, the outsides. Uh, hopefully, the viewer can see it that the uh, the outside of the metal it's coming up yeah. with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around it with a tapper, hammer and tapper, and I'm going to tap those out, the outer rings out. Yeah. That way we can get it rolling. Nice. So that's just, that's the beginning stages of getting a deep stretch dent out. I'm just going over it a little bit more just to try to get it where I'd like it. Yeah, it already looks a little bit better than it did. Oh yeah. Once that one's gone, we have hundred and something to two hundred yeah. more to go. <laughs> yeah, which the, the other ones aren't aren't real bad either. No. So. Thankfully. Yeah. So here's that tapper he was talking about. Yeah, hammer and tapper. Hammer and tapper. And they go on the outer rings. And they tap down all those highs that was on the outer edges of mm -hmm. that. 
Now for, the, now for those of my many fans with vinyl on their cars, if you feel like you need to replace the vinyl afterwards, you, you're more than welcome to do it. Vinyl, though, when it heats up, has a tendency to heal a little bit. So any dents or divots or anything that he might put into the vinyl will probably work themselves out yeah. as the hood heats back up. Well, that, that tape actually helps as an extra yeah. layer, too. So. And that's the other thing, is this piece of tape that he put on helps as well, so yeah. it keeps some of that from, from becoming an issue. Unless if there's somebody that is just really banging on it and really not worried too much about it. And it just depends on the the guy who's doing the dent work. Mm -hmm. So as you can see now, he's doing some more adjustments there. I'm doing some fine tuning on it. Yeah. And I'm bringing it up a little bit more that, because whenever I tap on the outsides, mm -hmm. that very center is gonna come back down with it. Yeah. So. For those of you who wonder where the dent was, it was right, it was, well, it was right yeah. here somewhere. Well, yeah, <laughs> you, you, you're, you're right on it, so. Yeah, it's right not as it. noticeable as <laughs> I can barely feel it now. Yeah, if you come over from it, over it to this angle, you can see where it's high right yeah. here. Yeah, I can see that high spot, but it's from from a low spot to a high spot, it's definite improvement already. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back, go on the out outside of it, and tap it down. It's so like I said, that metal will move down in the center. So for people who might be curious when they're doing, when they're getting paintless dent repair work, what's the average cost typically on just like one dent even? Oh, it really just ranges. Uh, it, can, it really just varies on the severity of the damage. Okay. Uh, where it's at, because uh, there's a lot of times where we'd have to glue pull. Mm -hmm. um, you know that. And glue pull is, I've seen some of the stuff laying on the floor, it's that like a little piece of glue with a... Yeah. It's like put it on, you pull up on it. Yeah, and we, we'll, we'll make a video of it, because I'll okay. probably do that uh, a few of them on the roof. Okay. Because uh, honestly, with it being, with it having that uh, that sunroof, yeah. uh, there probably won't be much access on there. No. Uh, so, I mean, just for today, I'll probably just glue pull a few of them. That way the, the viewer can see. Okay. See how the process is. Okay. So. I mean, we got we got a lot of, we got a lot of dents to cover. Mm-hmm. So they won't all be in, in videos. We'll do this video and then we won't do any more for the rest of the dents. It'll just be yeah. pop them as we go. Yeah, th this is just a good intro for anybody that's never heard of PDR. And or if even not, not necessarily even heard, heard of it. If they have heard of it, they've never seen it done before. Yeah. So how did we come out here with this? Well, I mean, from the video, you can see a little imperfection maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I honestly can't tell. Yeah. Well, unfortunately with that, vinyl on there yeah you know, the only way for us to get rid of that is if we were to do a little bit of wet sanding and then do a buff yes yeah, so you'd have to pull the vinyl wet sand yeah, buff. yeah yeah but consi considering what it was before yeah i mean i honestly really can't tell that it was ever there mm -hmm. so that's a good thing yeah yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get started on this other big one yeah so one big one down, one more big one, to, another big yeah. one to go, yeah. and then a bunch of little ones for the looks of it. Yeah. Let me get... So there you go, guys. This is what happens. I mean, I can see where you were hammering right there, so... But otherwise, that looks pretty good. And then if you go on to the underside, you can see where he was tapping and everything. But that looks pretty darn good in fact if that were coming coming off of a, a car hauler you probably wouldn't ever know that it would that it had been dented so we got both the big ones on the hood moved mm -hmm. and now he's working on the little little ones yeah just small ones the, these don't take nearly as much time just because you know there's not nearly as much metal that was stretched yeah so so those were probably little stones that hit the car then yeah as opposed to the other ones which were big <laughs> yeah yeah th those were some big knockers there the hood looks pretty good. Looks really good. Now we are moving on to the number of shots that were taken to the roof. Yeah. And you guys get to see something called, what is this called? The glue pulling. Glue pulling. So he attached that little thing there to the dent. Attaches that apparatus to it. It's a mini lifter. And then pulls. Yeah. Brings the metal up higher than where it should, and that's whenever we take the the uh, 
hammer and tapper and we tap it back down to its original form. So it will be raised above the, above the body line and then he will go over again with these tools right here which will bring him back down to a reasonable level. Now, if anyone's curious, what is? Can I see that. Thing? Yeah. So, what is on the end of this? It's it's like a hardened type of plastic. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what the name of it is, but uh, I get it online from a PDR company okay. that specializes in PDR tools. So. So, so for people thinking like, oh, he's taking metal and driving it into the into the paint on the roof, he's actually it's actually a plastic tip. Yeah. And I mean, we do have metal metal tech metal tips and stuff. Uh, I know I've, oh, well, here's one. Sorry, my cart's a little bit of a mess at the moment, but, you know, this is more of like a surgical, sur you know, surgery. So for very precise work. Yeah. Now, I usually don't use this very often, um, unless if I do have some sort of protective film over it, that way I'm not messing up the paint. Okay. The result being it takes out the dent pretty, it brings the dent back down to level with the paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. And it's still technically not, uh, you know, completely smooth, so I gotta go ahead and put another tab on here. Yeah. And I'm actually gonna spray it, because the, the glue that I'm using is actually a very strong adhesive. So it sticks really well. Yeah, and what I'm spraying on there is just rubbing alcohol, 91%, uh, and uh, bring it back up. Just repeat that process until it's completely smooth. Cool. And I've seen him do this on several, on a large van. So yeah. I was watching him doing this. I never bothered asking, why are you pulling it out beyond the body of the car and then <laughs> denting it back yeah. down? No, you got to bring it up. That way you can tap back down to its original form. Because kind of like that big dent, sometimes the center of the dents want to go back down, even whenever you're not tapping on that mm -hmm. specific spot. So very tedious process. But I enjoy it. That's why I said dent work is an art form. Yeah. Nice. I can just plug my plug my headphones in and just listen to a podcast or listen to some music and just zone out. How are we looking there? No, well, it looks like I need to do a little bit more tapping. A little more tapping. Yeah. And this is actually a blending hammer. All right, well, we knocked out most of the, we locked out everything on the hood and the roof. And came around, did a few over here. There's gonna be more that we're gonna do later. We still have a few to take out on the doors and the quarter panels, but otherwise the car looks fantastic. So I wanna thank KCPDR for doing it, such a great job. And Derek, thank you for your help. Thank you, man. Appreciate you bringing it in. No so. problem. And um, if anyone's interested and they're in the Kansas City area, I'll get you in touch with uh, with Derek if you want to get some dents taken out of your car, especially if you got caught in a hailstorm like I did. But thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, check out more content on this channel at the end of this video. Have a good one, bud.